Welcome. This is a uh, this is Bryce Heinbaugh. Um, I'm with Indiana University in the School of Informatics, Computing, and Engineering, um, specifically in the Intelligent Systems Engineering Department. And uh, this is a series of videos about how to use Fusion 360 to design a board. And so this is uh, specifically for um, an embedded systems class that I design um, at the at the school here um, where we actually build uh, light sensors to measure uh, light pollution uh, for the Hoosier National Forest. And so these are our small sensors um, that go into the forest. So it's uh, so um, uh, the students have been programming those systems using a, a Nucleo board. We use ST processors here. So a small um, a small board that they can write software for um, using something called STM32 Cube IDE. So they've been working on demo boards and, and, and breadboards basically to to, pro, you know, to to work on the software prototype. And now we're getting to a point where um, it would be great to have a special purpose board for this system. And so this is um, this is about um, how do you do that? How do you go from you know this idea of the processor that you want to use all the way to um, you know, a mechanical enclosed sensor that could actually go out in the world. And so uh, we're, we're working, um, th this project is, is in, many, in many senses aligned with a, a, a project that, that I have, uh, that I'm maintaining, working with students to, uh, um, to, to, develop, um, to develop these sensors over time, um, that we're finding them. And so let me show you a version of that sensor. This is a sensor here, and it's got a little... Uh, it's got a little optical filter here, a little piece of glass that's glued into this enclosure. Um, and then it's got a little sensor board here with a battery in it um, and some connectors. And then it's got this little cup base that's got you know a seal. And then it's got a little plug. Uh, we, right now we're getting the data uh, via serial cable. Uh, just for simplicity's sake, but over time we'll uh, we'll change over to a wireless link. Um, it'll probably have two wireless links. Actually, it'll probably have both LoRa and um, and Bluetooth, um, just to do things like updates and things like that, which are uh, more challenging to do over LoRa. So, uh, <clears throat> so this is the this is the sensor that exists as the. Um, you know, the, the version that we're deploying right now in the field, but the students in my embedded systems class are building a version of that, this sensor. It's a little bit simplified, but that's okay. Um, you get the idea uh, of how, how, to, uh, how, how to build these sensors. And so, so again, we're going to specifically talk about Fusion. Fusion 360 is a great, a great product um, that Autodesk is offering to the academic world for free. Um, and I know they're, you know, the hobbyist world that they're, you know, maybe it's, it's got um, slightly different features that are available to the hobbyists. But in the academic world, we get this tool for this wonderful tool for free. Um, we've done this class in the past using open source tools, uh, but the stability, you know, using things like FreeCAD and KeyCAD, which are great tools, but the stability across different platforms of Fusion um, is, is really exceptional. So this video is really going to be about, well, how do you go from... Um, this, um, you know, this sort of um, idea of this embedded system all the way to an enclosed product. All right, so that's it for the intro. Um, in the next video, I'll start in on, well, let's go ahead and uh, fire up Fusion, um, get a project set up, get some libraries um, installed um, that we're going to need for the, the parts that are not part of the Fusion standard library. And, uh, and we'll go on from there. Now, this is not going to be an exhaustive treatment of Fusion. You're not going to learn everything that you need to know for every project. But it's going to give you kind of a, an end-to-end -end, um, view of, of what's there and hopefully give you the confidence to go and learn more. These sorts of CAD tools, um, of course, are, are quite complicated and they take um, significant time and experience through, through multiple projects to really master them. So um, don't, don't, don't believe that these videos are going to give you that, but they will give you sort of a perspective on how, how do I navigate my way through this and kind of give you the confidence to go and learn more. More next time.